Hello beautiful singers, this is Valerie White Williams and Vocal Splendor Studios and today I would like to talk to you about how to add noise to the voice. So this is something that a lot of people have asked me about. Noise is getting that scratchy raspy sound healthily without doing abusive things to your voice and putting your voice at jeopardy because that's the only way you are going to be sustainable if you want to make that kind of sound because you don't want to trash your voice and you know suicide your career from having vocal problems. So the way, the healthiest way to add noise to the voice is by adding what we call a rattle. Now I've talked about Ingo Titsi and he's the voice pedagogue and I saw him two years ago and he was an amazing man. He was the one that taught the straw technique but he also talked about rattle using the rattle in the voice. And what happens when you have a rattle, it gives a sense of danger. It's like, ah! you know, you're going to have this extreme sound. And so we want to do it in a way that is helpful. So we want to rattle and create that little kind of rattly sound. So, and again, I want to also give credit to the wonderful Melissa Cross. And Melissa, we met years ago and she sent me her material and I've been using it ever since. So a lot of this is what I've learned from Ingo Titsi. Titsi and Melissa Cross and other people are out talking about this, but you want to be careful with your voice and not do anything that's um, disruptive to the vocal cords. So the way to do it is several different ways. We want to create kind of some natural sounds that people use. Um, what Melissa likes to use in her favorite way is what she calls um, the scratch or vocal fry and it's that scratch fiber and it's kind of like I feel it right up here. You're going to feel this and then you get that scratch sound like that. Now my kids get mad at me when I do that because they think it sounds like really creepy but that's it and then you get a mic with that. Now the thing about that sound is that it doesn't hurt at all. I can go Nothing. It's just because it's above the cords. We're not doing anything with the vocal cords. It's just learning to engage that sound. And it's like a baby crying or ah, ah, ah. children do that naturally because we won't ignore them. They're so loud. In fact, the irony is when I, I actually took a lesson with Melissa Cross to teach me this very thing. And on the way home on the airplane, there was a baby that was making squawks. It didn't full on cry because babies don't like the flying because it affects their ears and they can't get it out and the baby would just squawk and it would go bah! Bah! and it was so effortless and easy it was the exact sound that she wants you to learn so for scramble double spot you know we can use that sound but we can also add that to our singing bah! okay that sounds pretty rancid but there's a place for that and there's a place to practice that and you can go in and out of that sound. The other ways you can do it is you can kind of use the back of your throat that's the soft palate and rattle that and like <laughs> sounds like that. So that's another thing that you can do is add some people use a little spit. You can have a drink of water and kind of gargle and get that rattle sound also. So it's another thing to practice is integrating that <laughs> the slee stack is a TV show and they used to make that sound <laughs> like that. So again, no, no pain. It doesn't hurt at all. It's just about learning how to engage that rattle sensation into your voice. And when it comes to voices, I have one of the most pure girly voices of all times. Um, I sounded like I was 12 <laughs> to my adult life on the phone. So when I learned to get this little grit in the voice, ah, it was huge because it was something I never thought I could do. And I've sung a lot of different styles I never thought I could do because it's all about learning the technique unique to that style. That's what it's about and we all can do it. So we talked about the scratch, ah, that's what I call it, the rattle, <laughs> the back of the throat. And then the one that I don't like as much but people do do it and it's easier for some voice types like bass baritones is the growly than the voice. Ah, 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 cookie monster. It's down here. 
So that's what we call the false chords, which is some other flaps of skin. And some of the baritones and the bass baritones have a little bit more to work with down there. And so it's easier for them. I actually had a voice student where that sound would come out naturally because it was just, it was there. And so it naturally, so that's why so many metal singers tend to be, have these bur burly baritone voices, very tenors, because they have that little, uh, there's a little F, hello, die. Now, the problem with that is that, that for me is tiring at some point. You have to use a lot of support. Um, Melissa calls that the cookie monster. Cookie, cookie, cookie. So those are other ways that you can add that extra grit or uh, tension. Not, Scratch that. No tension. We never want tension. We don't want the tension to be in the chords. We can have the energy and ah, we can do that. But it's more in the face position and how to use the rattle. So I want you to think of you want the grit, you want the um, rasp using the rattle and don't trash the voice. All right, let me know what works for you. Have you used any of these techniques? Have you not used them and wish you did? Please share in the comments below. And also, thanks for the likes, subscribes, and shares. I so appreciate it. And I would love to hear from you what you think of this video and what you'd like me to do for the next one. All right, thank you so much and sing on.